Hey guys, welcome back on this cold, cold January morning to another exciting episode, hopefully, of Ernest Cold Fishing. I am, as always, the Bass Man Ernest Cold, and today I've got a tackle review for you guys. Uh, you guys have seen me crappie fishing a lot here lately. I've got me a couple of crappie rods that I want to kind of go over with you guys and, and uh, tell you about them. And uh, if you're looking for a good crappie rod, hopefully these will be one that you put in your boat. So uh, stick with me and... Uh, Let's see what we got. Folks, what we've got here is an ACC crappie stick. Now, I've got two versions or two models of their crappie sticks, and I'm going to go over both of them with you guys and tell you what I like and what I don't like about them, if there's anything at all. But uh, the first one I've got is the 13 footer. Uh, this is the GS13 SGCO. It's the uh, one of the uh, higher up ends of the crappie rods that they've got on their website and I think this particular rod was made for what I love to do which is you know live scoping uh, brush piles and this rod let me tell you folks is a beast I fish with it today and I'll show you guys a fish that I caught with uh, here in just a second you'll be surprised with but uh, extremely good rod comes in two pieces green it's got what i really like about them is uh, a lot of uh crappie rods come with a cork or foam handles and they're great and i've got some uh but this one comes with uh it's kind of like a wind grip if you guys are familiar with bass rods uh wind grips are really good i don't really know what to made it up but they're kind of spongy kind of tacky even uh especially when they get wet they get a little bit tacky but uh, really good, really good grips. I don't have the best grip in the world after all these years of fishing and playing music. But uh, let me tell you guys, this rod is legit. Stout as an ox, which you'll see here in a minute. And uh, it really, really super sensitive. I couldn't ask for a better crappie rod. It's kind of what I've been looking for in a good crappie rod. Now I like, uh, I've been using traditional trolling rods, which, uh, you know they're great they have but they have a really long uh butt section here from the reel down and uh sometimes you know i don't feel like i get the full you know if i've got a uh, 12 foot rod you know you take it up about a foot or so till you get to the reel seat which is where you hold it so i kind of felt like i was you know getting uh losing a foot on my regular trolling rods so i got this this is a really short butt section here really fits really good in your hand uh, really good balance and uh, they were out of this I had to wait for uh, you know a couple of weeks to get this but uh, what I originally had my first ACC crappie stick was an 11 footer it was the uh, GS 11 R SG uh, super grip I think is what they call it. I think that's what the SG is for uh, the GS I think is the green series 11 11 footer R rear real seat uh, you guys can see that I like this rod it's really really a uh, light uh, it's only like five ounces I think really really good I get the full 11 foot out in front of my boat with this rod really pleased with it it's got a good backbone it really horses those uh, crappie out of the brush when you get one on uh, it took me a little bit to get used to this because I was used to that you know foot or so back here to rest my forearm on so it took me a minute to get used to this rod but uh, I really like it like I said five ounces really really light you can tell the difference between the 13 footer and this 11 footer for sure uh, you know mainly because you got two more feet out there but this is what I originally had I bought love that super grip on there I mean this is just a beast if you're looking for a uh, rear reel seat it's kind of hard to say but <laughs> this is definitely the way to go like i said 11 foot on this one uh, i got this one and i wanted to try a rear reel seat 
because I just didn't feel like I was getting the full length out of my regular trolling rods. Uh, but this one, you know, light all day long, fish with it, no fatigue whatsoever. But like I said, it took me a minute to get used to not having something on my forearm. So that's why I went with the 11 footer. Uh, this is just an awesome rod. It's 7.1 ounces, medium fast action. Really well built. You guys uh, search my channel, you know I've built a few rods myself in the past. Uh, so I kind of know what to look for in a rod when I'm making one. Uh, but really love the super grip. Uh, you know, this has got just enough forearm back here to where I can really can control the fish. I can control the rod. And uh, when I'm swinging my jig out, just an all around great, great crappie rod. I could not be more pleased with this. Uh, plus, you know, that little, little stub on the end here really helps me. As far as when I'm, you know, trying to control the fish, get up, uh, you'll see how much that helped in just a second. Guys, with that being said on how good this rod is, I'm going to take you guys to some footage right now. I was out here all day, and I got one fish. But let me tell you, that fish was awesome. Uh, let's take you to the footage right now, and I'll kind of explain it uh, when we come back. Got him, got him. I don't know what I got, but I got him. Holy moly, what a... Oh, I need my net. I can't get to my net. Good Lord, the spot. I need my net. I need my net. I can't get my net. I can't get my net. Oh my goodness. I'm going to lose it. Good Lord, what a fish. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's the biggest spotted bass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Man, guys, look at that. Look at that. Golly bum, that's probably my personal best spotted bass on a little bitty. Whew. Good night. Stump bug there. That's a, uh, I don't even know what it is. Uh, Man alive, look at that. All right guys, let's get a weight on him. out alright this may be my PB spot I don't know I don't think but I don't know ok here we go we got our zeroed out Three pounds, ten ounces. Not my biggest spot ever, but on a crappie stick, <laughs> a crappie rod, 13 foot crappie rod with a, a 16th ounce jig head. I'm gonna tell you that was a fight. All right. Whew, man, what a pretty fish. Fat, feeding up, getting ready for pre-spawn. 
I'm gonna get a picture of that one and then I'm gonna send him on our way. So, uh, right. Guys, as you can see, that was a monster of a fish. Uh, one of my biggest spotted bass that I've ever caught was not expecting it. Caught it 100% on the live scope. I, I was uh, a fishing around that dock and there was just kind of a, a rope that, uh, or cable or whatever it was that just came out and kind of anchored that dock. Uh, just saw the fish come up and pulled up and I actually thought I had the rope there for a second. And uh, then the rope started uh, going the other way. So <laughs> that was just an amazing catch that I had today. Uh, like I said, one of my biggest spotted bass that I've ever caught. Really thick, really healthy fish. That's what you want to see in a fish. Uh, they're getting ready to spawn. So uh, crappie are big right now. Bass are big right now. But, uh, you know, it was an unexpected catch. I had this on a, this is an, uh, you know, an eighth ounce, excuse me, a sixteenth ounce bonehead tackle jig with a uh, a bonehead tackle stump bug on there i've been trying those out as well really like those baits um, but I, I could not be happier with this rod it was stout it allowed me you know i controlled that fish pretty good it didn't uh, get away from me um, didn't you know feel like at all that the rod was going to break uh, you know, I've caught some smallmouth before on uh, on some other rods, and you know they'd snap it. Uh, but uh, and I was, you know, putting this one to the test. I was hoping that it wouldn't snap, but and it didn't. Uh, it really held in there. Super strong backbone. That tip just let that fish run, and uh, you know, it just it handled you know flawlessly. I can't uh, complain a, a bit about this rod, but. Uh, if you guys want to pick those up yourself, it's ACC Crappie Sticks is where I got them. Uh, I really like because they had like a flat rate shipping. It only cost me 10 bucks to ship these. And uh, what I did ahead of time is uh, I'd been looking at these for a while. Uh, these rods are about 100 bucks a piece. Uh, you know, for a crappie rod, that's kind of pricey. But, you know, I came from a uh, bass fishing world, so a $100 rod is... Uh, Kind of the average on that to get a decent one but uh, this is kind of a you know my opinion kind of a higher end crappie rod so i would advise you if you're looking for a good crappie rod that i feel like it's going to last a long haul really good grip really good backbone check out acc crappie sticks uh, what i did ahead of time is i went on their website and i uh, signed up for their newsletter and they sent me a uh, 10 percent off uh, coupon code off my first order so uh, I forgot it when I ordered the first one but on this one I knocked 10% off which uh, kind of covers your shipping on that so super good rod could not be more pleased guys if you've liked this video please uh, hit that subscribe button uh, leave a comment below and tell me have you tried ACC crappie sticks or what is your favorite crappie rod leave those comments below I always enjoy uh, interacting with folks who watch my videos. I actually ran into a guy on the dock today. He came down and, and, and said hey to me, and he watches my videos here. And uh, I really appreciate that. It lets me know that uh, you know people actually do watch my videos, and they enjoy them. So it kind of gives me the motivation to keep going. But with that being said, it is cold out here today. That fish kind of warmed me up, but I'm going to tell you, I'm getting kind of cold again. So I'm going to pack all my gear up, head on to the house. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the little bell. It notifies you when I upload a video. If you uh, want to come back and watch some more. Got some more other ones on my channel. If you guys want to check those out as well. But uh, like I said, as always, I am the Bassman Nurse Cole. Kind of the crappie man right now. <laughs> and we'll see you guys down the road.